In this lesson, we're going to be going over a function that's part of Python's inbuilt library. And it's one that the pros use to compare two different data types and to check whether they are the same or not. So in this example, we have a string and we have a class of animal. And all the class of animal does is hold the species of that animal. But let's go ahead and see how we can check whether a string is actually of type string. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and print whether string is an instance of string. So we're going to be using the isInstance method, which is part of Python's built-ins. And inside here, we need to pass in what we want to compare. So we're going to pass in our string and we want to compare this to whether it is of type string. And this is the easiest way to create a check to see whether a data type is actually of a certain data type before moving on with the program. And if we go ahead and run this, we should get true because string is of type string. But if we decide to make string an integer and rerun the program, we're going to get false because string is not of type string anymore. And we can actually also do this with integer and any data type that you feel like inserting. If we run this program, string is once again a string, but string is not an integer. So we're going to get true and false. Now this becomes more interesting when we start combining data types. So we can go ahead and say print is instance and we're going to pass in string. And this time, let's say we want to check whether it's an integer or a string. We can just add this tuple and pass in all the data types that we want to accept. And if we run the program, it's going to evaluate the true because string is a string, but it's not an integer. In revenge, if we go ahead and add a float instead of a string, it's going to evaluate to false because it's neither an integer nor a string. But let's change it back to string. And I'm actually going to comment these lines out. Now, the reason I went ahead and created this cat function or this cat class over here is to show you that we can also compare it with user defined types such as the class of animal. So here we'll go ahead and say cat is an animal and it's going to be of cat species. And we're going to print is instance cat animal. So here it's checking whether cat is of type animal. And this can be very important if you're trying to create a program that requires a certain data type. And it's also a data type that you can't really cast to another kind of data type. So you have to make sure it's actually the data type that the user is inputting. But with is instance, you can check whether the user actually inserted something that conforms to your program. And if the check passes, you can do the following code. Otherwise you can refuse it. And something like that would look like if is instance user input is an instance of animal, then you can do the following code. It would look like this. I mean, we haven't defined user input, so it's going to give us an error, but this is the concept of how you could check whether the user actually gave the correct type. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. It's a very simple inbuilt function that can take your program a step further. And with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.